This is the Italian Citizenship Podcast, hosted by Marco Permunian and Rafael Di Furia. Hello there and welcome to another edition of the Italian Citizenship Podcast, presented by ItalianCitizenshipAssistance.com. Of course, we are back at it again with Italian attorney Marco Permunian. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, thank you. Glad to hear that you're doing well. And today we're doing uh, frequently asked questions about Italian citizenship through marriage, questions for the Italian spouse. And it's not only a part two follow-up episode, but also a companion episode to an article on ItalianCitizenshipAssistance.com, FAQs about spouses of Italian citizens. And this episode, we're starting kind of where we left off last time. And so Marco, let's just jump straight into it. And so say there's a situation where a person might not yet be eligible for Italian citizenship by marriage, or for some reason, they just have another way that makes them ineligible for Italian citizenship by marriage. What would be the options available to that person to uh, remain in Italy? Of course, some people might not qualify for citizenship through marriage because, for example, they cannot pass the test, the language test that was introduced in 2019 or maybe because they just married and they have not been married long enough to meet the requirement to apply for citizenship through marriage, meaning that you can only apply for citizenship through marriage if you have been married for uh, three years or uh, two years, depending on whether you reside in um, the US or Italy. Um, Or somebody might just not be interested in pursuing citizenship through marriage just yet, and they're looking maybe for the quickest solution. Well, there is an alternative to citizenship through marriage, which is available to people who are married to Italian citizens, and that would be the residency permit for spouses of Italian citizens. And so if someone finds that they're in a situation where they want to Uh, start moving forward with a residency permit. Uh, What are the requirements to apply for this residency permit in Italy? The application process is fairly easy, meaning that the residency permit can be pursued only once the couple has moved to Italy. So one of the frequently asked questions that we get is, can I get the residency permit for spouses through my Italian husband or wife from abroad? Uh, can I can I apply for it uh, while I'm living in the U.S. so that I already have it when I when I arrive in Italy? And the answer is no. Unfortunately, the residency permit can only be obtained once the couple uh, not only is physically in Italy, but also once the uh, husband or wife, the one who is Italian, has formally established residency in Italy. So those are the pre requisites. So say the uh, Italian spouse has established residency from a legal standpoint in Italy, then the non-Italian spouse who has traveled to Italy as a tourist, because that's allowed, uh, as we know, for an American to travel to Italy uh, for up to 90 days um, without any kind of visa. So once the couple uh, has done that, then the non-Italian spouse can apply for the residency permit through the local immigration office in the area where they live. And maybe we can talk about which office that is in a second. But the documents required are are very simple. So the uh, spouse's passports, so the Italian passport for the Italian spouse and the foreign passport for the non-Italian spouse, and then the marriage certificate. Now, it's preferable if the marriage certificate is the one issued by the Italian government. So the Italian marriage certificate, the one that was registered in Italy if the couple got married abroad, of course, if the couple got married in Italy, then there's only the Italian marriage certificate. But as we know, if the couple was married abroad, then the foreign marriage record must be registered in Italy. And in most cases, these local immigration offices, they require the Italian version of the marriage certificate, though I've seen them making some exceptions um, on a case-by-case basis when the couple didn't have the time to record the marriage record in Italy. So they accepted the foreign marriage record with the apostille in the translation into Italian. 
then the other documents required are basically just proof that the Italian spouse is registered as a resident in Italy and the proof of payment. The, the payment for to obtain this marriage record is only 16 euros, which is normally payable in the form of a revenue stamp, which is something that I believe doesn't really exist in a lot of countries. Believe it or not, this revenue stamp which in Italy is called Marca da Bodlo, can only be purchased in a tobacco shop. So you go there, you request a Marca da Bolo. There are different amounts. The one that you need is the one for 16 euros. And it's given to you in the form of a sticker, which you normally stick to the application that you submit to apply for the residency permit. And finally, to apply for this residency permit, you will need two passport size photos because uh, the residency permit will come in the form of a plastic ID so which will, which will also carry your photo to to identify you it's it's i have to say really interesting about italy that's that's one very unique aspect of life in italy is going to the tabacchi the tobacco shop uh to take care of certain official things i mean even some of them you can pay your or, um your bills your monthly bills uh, and make the transfer from there usually there's uh, an extra fee that's applied but it's just interesting how the tobacconist uh, the tobacco shop is such a vital part of the italian system uh due to their uh, connection with the uh, Italian tax office. But moving on to the next question, once you've got your application ready to go, you've got your Marca da Bolo ready to be stuck on to your application, where is it that you actually have to go to submit the application? The application must be submitted to the Questura, which is, um, once again, something that is very unique and it's probably it, that probably doesn't have a direct translation in English. And actually, the questura, the word questura, comes from the um, Roman Empire. And back in the days, this office had a slight different uh, purpose. But now the questura, basically, which is still headed by the questore, so the head of the questura, is basically the local administrative office for the police. And uh, the, every questura is, there is one in every uh, Italian province, is, uh, de depend, depends on the uh, Ministry of Interior. And um, so the questura is like the administrative of office of the local police, which is also responsible for issuing residency permits for spouses of Italian citizens. And like I said, you need to make an appointment, go with your spouse, they will take your fingerprints and process they will take all the documents the uh, marca da bolo so the payment uh, passport size photos and then they will process they will take some time to process your application and the result will be that you get the plastic id which is basically your permit of stay in the mail after a few weeks so actually just one follow-up question to this is is this a service that you can just walk into the questura to to make the application or do you have to make uh, an appointment ahead of time for this well normally especially after the health emergency i want to say that throughout italy they only work by appointments so you can't really show up but you need to book an appointment and they might have different booking systems depending on the province in which you are applying so it might be that you have to there's a booking system on the website it might be that you have sent an email or maybe that you have to call them but regardless you do have to make an appointment and you kind of already mentioned this but just to follow along with the article as well how long would it uh, take to receive the residency permit well, it's a good question because, you know, the spouse of an Italian citizen is normally living in Italy before actually getting the residence permit on a tourist visa. So they only have 90 days to reside in Italy without the need for a visa. So the application process is quite fast, meaning that it normally takes just a couple of weeks for you to be approved and get the residency um, permit delivered to you and so once the person has already gotten their 
residency permit, do they have any restrictions on what kind of work activities they can do? Um, or are they uh, uh, allowed to work in any capacity in Italy? Once the person receives the residency permit, they can work in, in, in any capacity. So there are no restrictions in terms of what kind of um, uh, what type of work you can do, or if you can be employed by certain companies. So you can be basically employed and work like any other Italian citizen. So basically the Italian government protects very much the Italian spouse who not only can work, but can also register with a national healthcare system and stay in Italy indefinitely with their spouse so the protection is really at a very high level. The only thing that somebody that, that the residency permit holder cannot do is vote for the Italian elections because that's all, only for uh, it's meant for Italian citizens. And so, just a, a another kind of question that's along these lines about if there are any restrictions. It's actually maybe a little additional question, a question that's maybe not on the uh, frequently asked question list, but. Does this person have any restrictions on traveling around Europe when they have this uh, residency permit, or are they able to travel around uh, with the same freedom of movement as an Italian citizen would have? There are some restrictions, meaning that only the Italian spouse can travel without time limitations in the other European countries. So it's possible for an Italian citizen to uh, not only travel to another EU country, but also relocate there without making any special arrangements. So for an Italian citizen, it's possible uh, for an Italian citizen residing in Italy, but even for somebody who is an Italian and resides abroad to just relocate, um, to, to, to make the decision to relocate and relocate the next day to another EU country without telling anything to, to anyone. So it's, it's not necessary to apply for any permits, visas, or um, anything in, in general. So for the Italian citizen, it's very easy not only to travel to another EU country, but also to relocate there. Now, the spouse of an Italian citizen who holds a residency permit in Italy cannot do the same. So they're free to travel in the other European countries for up to 90 days at a time, but they cannot stay for longer. So a lot of people, they ask me, so what if I want to exercise my right as an Italian citizen to relocate to another EU country and bring my spouse with me? Well, that's possible, but there are some arrangements that need to be made, meaning that um, the Italian citizen should register as a resident in the other European country and the process to register as a resident in another EU country is regulated by the law of that specific country then once the Italian citizen has registered as a resident in another EU country the spouse can apply for a residency permit for spouses of EU citizens so a different residency permit than the one that the spouse was holding while residing in Italy they need a new one issued by the government of that EU country in which the couple is relocating. That's really interesting. And so um, maybe just to take it back to uh, residing in Italy rather than residing abroad, and our last question of this episode, the residency permit itself, does that have any expiration or is it for an unlimited period of time? The residency permit is normally issued for uh, five years the first time, and then it's basically renewed uh, indefinitely. So y you have to renew it after the first five years, but the second time that you renew it, it's basically forever. And of course, uh, during the first five years, your residency status is connected to you being married to your Italian citizen husband or wife. So you might lose your residency right if you uh, separate uh, or get divorced. Uh, whereas after the, the first five years, so when you obtain the permanent residency permit, your residency status is no longer connected to you being married to your Italian wife or husband. And just one last piece of information, after 10 years of residency in Italy, the residency permit holder, um, who for whatever reason didn't apply for citizenship through marriage before, can apply for citizenship through residency. 
Well, Marco, thank you so much for answering all of these questions and uh, for giving more insight on these topics for Italian citizenship through marriage and especially the questions relating to the non-Italian citizen uh, spouse. And if anybody would like assistance, would like help with this process, how can they get in contact with you and your team? People can contact us through our website, italiancitizenshipassistance.com or give us a call. Our number is on their website. Well, of course, absolutely fantastic. And of course, if you're interested in more content like this about Italian citizenship, Italian residency, getting Italian citizenship, be sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel as well as the audio only podcast. But of course, if you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, you are also automatically subscribed to the Italian real estate podcast, another project that Marco and I collaborate on, where we talk about some of the other practical sides of making Italy your home and including even a list of places that we might personally consider ourselves as locations that would be worthwhile considering to live in. And also, if you're interested in more content about life abroad, living abroad, living abroad as an Italian dual citizen expat, be sure to come over to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rafael Di Furia, or you can search for Not Your Average Globetrotter, where you'll also be able to find the audio-only version of the podcast on all your favorite podcasting platforms. But of course, again, Mr. Marco Permunian, thank you so much again for making yourself available for this episode of the Italian Citizenship Podcast, presented by Italian citizenshipassistance.com. Of course, I'm Rafael Di Furia. Stay safe and healthy out there and we will see you all next time. Thank Later. you.